My name is Shalan. I'm here to um, try to share my next jump journey with you. A little bit about my uh, background. I came from China and I got my master's degrees from the Columbia University. And I joined Next Jump in 2012. Uh, that's right after I, got, I graduated from um, Columbia. So I started off as a software developer and I was working on the e-commerce platform on the travel product in particular. And in the past seven years here, I ha I'm here in the Next Jump, I have many ups and downs. And currently, I'm the member. I'm one of the member uh, in MV21, which is the senior leadership group here at Next Jump. And I'm with my talking partner Nayan. I'm co-leading the the entire feedback suite of apps. So looking back, my journey can be divided into three different phases: doer, team player, and then being a leader. So I'm going to take you through some of the key stories that really helped me as my self-awareness, as well as my growth. So the first, the early phase of my career here, I'm a, I'm a doer, I'm a solo player. I have been having this strong principle that growing up, I need to work very hard so that I need to make sure I have the good grade, I have the good score. So I learned it from the school in, uh, for 15 plus years that it taught me to be highly competitive. I need to make sure I go to the right university. I need to make sure I got a good job. And that's also how I applied in my earlier career here at Next Jump. And it got me a lot of recognitions and which I'm very happy about it. For example, in 2013, in my first 10X, I got a four from Charlie for the work I have done for the travel platform. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself during that time. And after that, we have this team reflection, I remember. We have grown through uh, all the teams having this peer eval. I remember I got all the peer evals talking about how I'm doing a good job on, on my own work, but I do not help others. And I, was, I didn't understand why that matters, because the narrative in my head is that if they don't ask me for help, how do I help? So I was still holding on to the belief I have that my performance matter the most. And that is the single key to succeed. So in, in 2014, it's my first time got voted into the MV21 group. And in the, uh, in the offside, we have a tradition. Basically, every single leader in the, uh, in the last dinner, we were there in the offside, we give a toast. And this is a quote I, I gave that year. Basically, I said, I don't know how to get any better than I am right now. That's why I'm in this group, in my like, very arrogant way. Um, so shortly after that, things has gone to a very different direction that I had never expected. So I got more responsibilities. I got to lead the CDB team and then tickets team, the engineering teams. The expect, with the expectation and the stress just going up, my worst self show up. And things start, things start just to fall apart. And there has been sequence of incidents that happened during that time make me feel horrible, feel terrible. And it hit me really hard. So right after that year, I was kicked out of the MV21 group. And it was another round of voting, another round of survey. So you can see there are 62% of the entire company voted me to be all of that group because they did not believe I deserved the place. I, they don't want it to be led by me. And after that, Jared and Candy, who were the engineer that I was working very closely during that time, they, went, they turned into another leader in Boston and then saying that I don't want it to work for her, I want it to work for you. Because she doesn't care about our growth. She just, she just wanted to get the outcome. She's using us to get things done. When I first heard about it, 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 it really felt like a slam on my face. I, I, I felt angry and I felt so embarrassed. I wanted to dig a hole here and then jump into the hole and never come, come back up. <laughs> and after that, most of the people who I worked with were not, were not successful. And most of them left, Addie, Adrian, 
Jared and Talha, who is still here, but it was not, I was not able to help, help him grow at that time. So around, during that time, I got a lot of feedback, but I wanted to show this one because I think this is the one that accurately described what I was doing and who I was. So I'm just reading a little bit here. You're making decisions that make you look good instead of doing what is right for everyone and the company as a whole. So all these incidents that have brought me to a very painful but powerful realization of myself. I'm, I'm a terrible leader and I don't care about others' growth because I only focus on myself. My performance matters the most. I put, I put my success above everything else and everyone else. It took me a long time to come to this realization, but because the whole thing, it hurts me so much, so I, 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 just, I just feel like I have to change. I do believe I have changed. It's still in progress, but I think I have changed. So just to reflect back what helped me. The number one I wanted to see say here is all the people who are around me. Those people around me who not only just let hand when I was down, when I was wanted to go into a corner and hide myself, but also pushing me to a high standard and believe that I can be better. In particular, my talking partner, Nayan, who ha I can always turn to whenever I have negative emotions, doesn't matter is angry, negative, angry, sad, or embarrassment without making me feel judgment. And because we're also very thinking very differently, he can always make me see another perspective of the same thing. So this is some of my improvement. So I was, after that, I have been putting myself out there, just, just keep trying and trying to be okay with getting ton of ones or just getting the failure and be okay of looking bad. So the example on the left hand side is I being the judge for 10x. So every time, initially, every time I was judging 10x, I used to get like a lot of ones. And I do wanted to thank to all the next jumper who have gone through my terrible judge. That's how I, with all the practice, that's how I was be able to get improvement there. I could get threes. I could really <coughs> give the, the truthful, the constructive, uh, constructive feedback. And on the right hand side, the picture is Flora and David. Naya and myself are coaching them on the cultural initiative called Adopt the School, which is a kind of giving back program here at Next Jump. So what I was trying in, that, in coaching them is that I try to share my true truthful feelings with them as well as my weaknesses. I think that do help in terms of gain their trust and respect. And for this program, what we tried is really help them lead with their passions versus focus on what I wanted to achieve. So this year, 2018, I continue to get more, um, more responsibility. I was playing a senior role in the HR technology. And there are also, I welcomed some of my proudest moments here at Next Jump. So in earlier this year, in February, um, we have a company survey. We do a lot of surveys. Um, we were, I was, Naya and myself was voted to be the top coaches by others, like the most, the leader that you wanted to be coached by the most. And in 2018 <coughs> August, both of us also won the Avenger uh, Award that is voted by the company. Uh, it was very proud. It was, it's a very proud and emotional, emotional moment, and that's some of my pictures there. So just looking, coming from two years ago, no one wanted to work for me, and I was voted out of the leadership group to now I was voted as, like, one of the helpful, most helpful individuals here at Next Jump. It, it, it's a very emotional journey for me, and I'm sure I'll, I'll be cherishing it throughout my life. Um, so even though 2018 is one of my good times work-wise, but it was also the one of my most challenging time at home. So I'm going through a divorce, and it's not done yet. 
and I'm becoming a single mom who I, I'm going to uh, raise my three years old kid by myself. It's um it's a very it's a very difficult decision. There is a lot of problem in my marriage for the past whatever years, and my husband had been using divorce as a threat as a threat, but I was running away. I I I'm just living in fears. I fear that I don't know what's gonna happen. After that, what's gonna happen to my life? What's gonna happen to my work? So I was running away. But after all the things that happened at work, it, it gave me courage. It gave me courage to pull the trigger. It gave me the courage that I believe I can go through it. And I believe my life gonna be better after this, even though now it's very difficult. I'm not alone. I have my TP, I have the whole next jump uh, folks helping me and I feel stronger and stronger. Just like what Gabe was saying, I think I need to throw a party after I'm done with that. <laughs> and so my journey here at Next Jump is to be continued. And I have been unpacking a lot of things about myself, good or bad. Um, but looking back, I think what I got is both confidence and humility. Confidence is that I, I've been through the bad times and now I believe I actually can do it. Whatever bad things you throw at me, I believe I can go through it and get stronger. And the humility is that there's always, always more things I can be better at. I need to continue to grow. I need to continue to just get better. So I wanted to end with, this is the, um, this is the toast I gave this year, a couple of months ago in the MV21 offsite. I got in the group is not because of how good I was, but it's because of you all choose me to help and invest me to be a better version of me tomorrow. So with that, it concludes my journey. Thank you. Yeah.